What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Blockchain Bay. Today, I will not be doing no elaborate intros. As you can see, all these zeros. Warren is over, and I am so freaking saddened and irritated by this. I at least thought that it was going to last to the summertime. I'm not going to sit up here and lie to y'all. Um, the year was a stretch, but, you know, at least the summertime. I believe I know I said by May or April. You know what I'm saying? But for it to just leave so abruptly like this. <sighs> anyway, let's talk about what the T is in the crypto street. So long story short, people are saying that this is a rug. Now, for me, in my perspective, I have been watching this thing because, remember, I haven't taken out any of my profits. So, I was watching it, although I saw the TVL decreasing. I'm like, okay, let me see what's going to happen. Is it going to hit a floor? Whatever. No, it did not hit a floor. <laughs> it bottomed out. <laughs> okay? Listen. So, let me get to what happened. So I went to bed, the TVO was 74,000, right? So I still had my position in there. I woke up at four o'clock this morning. I seen the TVL at like 53, 52,000. I sold my position gratefully. Like if I wouldn't have woke up this morning, I would have been livid, mad and everything because I was just letting my position grow. So it got up to about like 400 and... I want to say maybe like $440, something like that. Um, pretty much what was happening as the TVL was decreasing, the price of Warren was increasing. So people, of course, going to sell. Like if the TVL is dropping, but the price is increasing, I definitely sold because this is the thing. When the price may increase, but if the money is not there inside the TVL for you to withdraw, it doesn't matter what the price is if you can't pull your money out. So I would say that Warren went out with a bang because if people had thousands, imagine if you had 2000 inside the protocol and it went up to 0 0.033. That's where that's the position that I sold at 0 0.033. Of course you're going to sell because you see the TVL dropping, but that price is looking good. So I think this was just the fate of the inevitable when it came to that. You know, it's very disappointing for me to see it because I'm just like, man, I really felt like this was going to be around because the mechanics is just so freaking fire. I did not want to let it go. But all good things may come to an end. This is what the chart looks like. Some astronomical number from here, boy. If anybody cashed out up here, <laughs> whoo, I don't even know. I don't even know. That's going to be some insane type of games, but you would have had to catch it. That's the thing. It happened so early this morning. You would have had to catch that in order to pull out that type of money because the TVL was dropping. So shout out to everybody that was able to sell their position at those prices, maybe potentially. I don't even know how I got up that. I don't know because it was a buyback mechanism. So every time someone sold, Warren was buying back those positions you see what i'm saying so that's why the price kept on going up so ultimately you know the development team is saying that it basically zeroed out and if you want to know whether or not it was a rug for all my wallet watchers and investigators always go to dex tools go to dex screener and look at the transaction see if there's different wallets track the wallets i know y'all good for that i have never let us down when it came to tracking funds and seeing if someone was pocketing all the money if the development team was doing what they were supposed to do you know so for me i'm gonna just say this don't act like warren was not paying out and paying awesomely great see when it's good it's good but they love you until they don't. I understand, you know, people invested their money inside and they didn't get in early. I feel for those people as well, too, because I will be irritated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But me, my position, I didn't invest that much. There are people that just did the rebonds. They rebonded 30000 60000 10000 you know. 
my thing is this when it comes to crypto no matter who it is no matter who the team is no matter what it is always make sure that you get in early early and i really feel like on my channel i'm just going to tell people when they ask is it too late i'm gonna just say yeah you know what i mean you grown you make your own decisions. Of course, we are not financial advisors, but I'm just going to start telling people, yes, if you did not get in early and you ask, is it too late? I'm going to tell you yes, because we cannot guarantee the longevity of a project. Yes, I was promoting this for the year. This is what I was projecting. Everything was there for it to be, but we can't control what investors do and that's okay. You know what I mean? This is crypto. This is DeFi. And I hate to even use that as an excuse, but that's just the reality of the realm that we're in. So it's high risk, high reward. Um, shout out to Son of Breezy. I already knew <laughs> he was going to get that good tea. I already knew. I already knew. I absolutely love his videos. They're always funny. I get so much out of them. And the biggest thing that I get from his videos and what he preaches mostly is bring your sledgehammer and get in early on top of other things but those are like the main key points when it comes into crypto you can do your research you can read the white papers you can do all of that and clearly that is not a guarantee for things inside of this space and i'm not just talking about warren i'm talking about any project we, if you've been in crypto for a while, you already know how this goes. For my new investors, this is a part of the business, a part of the ecosystem. No matter what chain you're on, um, there's always going to be elements, people, you know what I mean, that do the right things and that don't do the right things. I'm not going to say that the team didn't do the right thing. They still have the treasury. They still have documentations on the treasury being there. The TVL is based on what the investors take. And I want to say that this contract was locked, but do not hold that to me. If you want to know more information, click on the arrow below. Like I've been telling y'all to do all this time. Click on that paper plane. And go to the Telegram and ask your questions. Um, yeah, today is a very oh, sad hump day. Hump day is supposed to be getting over the hump. Not getting over the hump and digging down into a ditch. But that's alright. Um, they have a layer 2 project coming. Or another project coming. And I'm just going to say this. I may very well get into that next project. Why? Because it paid out so much money and you cannot deny that fact. You cannot deny it. It lasted over 40 days. For me, this is my 43rd day. I got in a couple of days after. So it lasted about 46 days or so. You see, so for anything in DeFi, that is a great thing because a lot of these projects, they only last a couple days, a week. If you got something solid, 30 days and beyond, and that's sad to say, but yes, 30 days and beyond is, is great for a DeFi project. Now, there are some that are safer and that have been here longer than Warren's. You can do your research on those. Uh, what is it? Uh, Pulse Miner, BNB Miner. Those really like the only two that I know that have been here for a long time and it's still paying out. Am I going to tell you to get into that? For me, I haven't even gotten into it because I feel like it's too late. I don't care. I'll just miss the train. There are so many opportunities in crypto. You have to pick up your feet and keep on moving. You cannot wallow, whine, and cry. This is what happens, okay? Me, I'm going to take responsibility for what I did as far as me rebonding, restaking, not taking profits. But I'm glad. I'm going to say that. I'm glad I did not take my profits 
a couple of days ago because I was able to capture that all time high, which I believe they said it was like 0 0.036. Well, I got it at 0 0.033. So I'm glad that I did wait because I was able to get that peak, although the TVL was dropping. So shout outs to Warren. Um, I'm not going to speak bad on it because I don't know the full ins and out of everything. But like I said before, <laughs> everybody love you until they don't. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shout out to the team. They have, uh, they're also going to be announcing the winners of those NFTs for the people that rebonded for the bond promotion boost. I know y'all don't want to hear that right now, but they still have to disperse out those NFTs. Those will be a part of the layer two project or the new DAP project that they're going to be making. Listen. You decide what you want to do. Everybody is grown until it comes down to crypto and investments and finance. I don't understand. I don't understand it. I'm not listening to no influencers telling me what to do or where to go. Yes, of course, if there are reputable people involved in the project, then, you know, I'm going to give it a look. And if it's something that I feel like I think is worth it, then I'm going to invest my money. But you ultimately do have to decide what is best for you and what is not. And another thing, I see a lot of people complaining, you know, about them saying, oh, the influencers were saying, you know, take profits, take profits, take profits. But this is the thing. Had we not told you guys to take profits, then you would really be shit out of luck right now and you'll be even more upset because you had not taken profit just like moonshot max said when you're taking profits throughout the entire time it kind of lessens the blow quote unquote if things don't go as expected so yes i'm gonna always tell you to take profit because at the end of the day what's your point of investing your point of investing is to what gain to take profit and to turn that into real tangible assets, bills, leisure, pleasure, luxury, everyday living, survival, whatever it is that you use your crypto earnings for, that is the point. Not to just sit and have dashboard money and have a YouTube page and show how much you're making, but you're not doing anything with it. That's called cap. So, yeah. Shout out to Warren Still. I'm going to, um, you know, go to the voice chat today. They're going to be announcing the winners. And I'm going to be at the voice chat on Friday because I'm still curious as to see what's going on with the team, what the sentiment is of the community, the investors, their experience. And, you know, will it turn around? Will it continue with, you know, the unhappiness of what happened today? I'm not sure, but, you know, I'm still going to follow it and carry out the news. Um, like I said, with my position, I was able to sell it and, um, yeah, hopefully you guys were able to sell and that's another thing. And then I'm getting ready to go. Warren button to sell worked all the way until the end. Okay. It was a point in the transaction where it was like Jason era. And I was like, hold up. <laughs> It did. I'm not even finna lie to y'all. And I was a little bit nervous because I'm like, wait a minute, let me get my little stuff, you know? But it went through. You know what I mean? I guess maybe everything that was going on with the price uh, increasing and the TVL decreasing that may have had an effect on, you know, the transaction going through to catch the price to pretty much give me my funds. But long story short, that sell button worked all the way until the end. Now, I don't know if with a rug pull, if you can sell, if they taking the money or not, but I will vouch for that. Okay. It worked until the end. So yes, it's been real. Thank you so much for listening to this video. I know it was not what we wanted and I definitely hate to have to have made this video, but stay tuned. Um, more projects are coming. You got to keep on going. Okay. 
You can't be no little baby and be crying. You got to keep on going. This is life. Put one foot in front of the other and keep on pushing. This is a hustler mentality, okay? You got to get it back in blood, baby. You feel All right. So it's your girl, Black Chain Bag. Thank you so much. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Please stay sweet. Don't go too crazy, all right? Bye. Bye.